G'day guys, welcome back. Another placemat and coaster pour. And these are the colours. This is the colour little test that I did. Love it. It's Payne's Grey with black and this tan kind of colour and silver with the white cell activator. So that's what I'm hoping to achieve for this pour. I do like doing my little tests uh, and then I can see whether the colours work or not. Um, right, I've got my placemat, I've got it covered with some frog tape, <laughs> paint everywhere and my little coaster. This is a 40 centimetre or 16 inch. Let me just pop it on there, try and get it centred stick it down and there we go so that's just my little cake turntable or cake spinner or whatever you want to call it um, now colors as i said Payne's gray these are all joe sonia's black silver and this one which i've just finished i had to use my little toothpaste squeezer thing to get it all out it's called skin tone so that's it there and these have all been mixed two parts of my pouring medium to one part of the Joe Sonia's paints and I'll just get my little gloves on and we shall get to it so my pouring medium I know I've gone through it so many times already but it is just three parts of the um, untinted house paint, I'm just taking my lids off, to one part Minwax Polycrylic, I'll leave that one on, that's my cell activator, to one part Joe Sonia's um, gloss varnish. So three parts untinted base house paint, you don't want it white, it's got to be untinted, it's kind of a creamy colour really when you get it out of the can, one part Polycrylic and one part Joe Sonia's gloss varnish. My cell activator is the usual three parts of the Australian Floetrol to one part of the Amsterdam Titanium White. Don't use zinc white because it's um, it's not opaque. It's a mixing white. If you want to mix um, like blue to make a light blue, then you would use your zinc white because it won't change the opacity of your blue, which is usually semi-transparent most blues are um, but it'll just make it a little bit more paler paler is that a word more pale <laughs> let's just spread that out a little bit and then I'll put my puddle in the middle and this is for my colored paints to sit on my little Puddle pillow, pillow puddle, whatever you want to call it. Okay, um, and I've got my blower. I told you all all about this blower in the last video. So, well, the last um, bloom video. It was the what did I do last time? The Payne's grey with the brown. So and the turquoise. So if you missed it, check out that video. All right. Paints grey, hope I've got enough. And then I need to put my tan colour down. Just made it up this morning, it's a bit frothy, but it'll be alright. A little bit of black. And because I'm only using three colours <clears throat> really, um, I'm going to put two layers of each on. Well, not necessarily of the black, but two layers actually i might put a little bit of black on because i like the gray look hopefully that's not too much okay and my silver on top a little bit more silver this time it tends to get lost and my white, about the size of a 20 cent piece if you're in Australia. Oh, 
Who's that fast? Okay, let's go. <clears throat> Strong low. Spread it out a little bit. Push the white over the top of the colours. much white. Use my little guy in the middle just to bring up some cells. So I really can't push that white any further because it's going to go over my lacing and ruin my lacing. So that's going to have to be it. <clears throat> I should I should just put the nozzle on the white because it comes out so fast. I've done that a few times now. I'll Keep the nozzle on and then I've got more control over it, hey. Those colours are looking really, really pretty. Actually, I wonder if I can just blow some of that white over there because it's a little bit close. I'll just sort of widen it a little bit there. I don't think much is going to happen. That's all right. It's more of a round now. <clears throat> okay, so I'm not going to wait too long because I don't want these in the middle growing too much. Why is there always a hair? A bit of fluff. All right, here we go. See our beautiful white umbrella sprays out. Oh, look at that. Pretty. Other way. So you only really need to spin like two, maybe three times if you've got plenty of paint on there. You don't want to keep spinning, spinning, spinning because you're only gonna all you're gonna do is stretch all your lacing out. That's that area there that I said is gonna be a problem. Because I didn't blow properly over there, so it wasn't sort of yeah, I had a big big blank area there. I'm going to have to go again. I might just have to leave that area there. I don't think I'm going to go twice with this one. I, I like it. I do. It's just mm, that. I have to go again. Not pour again, just spin again. It's still there. I need to get a little bit more of that off. Here we go. Hopefully that's enough. Mm, not quite. I can't go the other way as strongly as I can this way. Now, if I've spun too much and overstretched everything, I might have to go again, but mm, I think I'll leave it. I haven't got that much paint left, really. Although, hmm. What do you reckon? Yeah, it's okay, isn't it? I'm just being too picky. There is a lot of white in the centre, but that's okay. It's it's a dark uh, placemat, so I think having that extra little bit of white in the middle is actually quite nice. Let me just run my little tool under here very slowly. Catch the drips underneath. Okay, what do you think of that one? So that's the that's the inspiration. I didn't do the blow very well. So I've got no lacing up here. That's really pretty, but over here I've got no lacing because I didn't blow the white over the colours here. So there we go. It's uh, it's pretty similar. Happy with that. All right. Um, I'm just going to move this down onto the floor. Get set up for the coaster. What a surprise, hey? Just one video. Well, one pour for this one. Woohoo! <laughs> right, we are good to go. 
little coaster. I put a little bit of double-sided tape underneath this to see if I could hold it in place better when I spin because it all moves, doesn't it? All right. Now I've just put some pillow paint in here for the little ones because I don't need a lot. It's just the um, British Paints Low Sheen White Wall Paint. And then I've put the nozzles on so that I can just get a little bit of paint because I don't want too much. In saying that, you still want a third. You want a third of the size of your piece that you're working on to have paint on it. It needs to be a third. Otherwise, you won't have enough paint to get to the edges. Okey dokes. little drizzle I do find that the drizzling works better because you can see how you can see the colors underneath coming through don't want to put too much black on actually I might not put any more than that because it's quite strong and it's only a little dude well, I don't want it to be too dark hey now I'm going to use my little fan blower because the, the big one's way, way too powerful. A little tiny blob. Don't use too much because you won't be able to spread it. And you'll have too much in the center. Just skim it over the colors, push it out to the edges. See if you can cover all your puddle paint. I'll just let that come in a little bit and then I can see if I can go over that area again. I don't want to disrupt my lacing though. I disrupted those ones there, they were a bit stretched. But I'll give that a minute just for the paint to come back because I've, I can see there's a dip there where I've been blowing it. Because I have to kind of push down and then out so that it mixes the colours a little bit. Alright, let's spin this baby. Yes, you are a little baby, aren't you? Those colours are looking nice. Hopefully you look like your mummy. And that's holding better. I've got a little bit of the double-sided tape underneath. I always get this area here that looks as if it's running out into the ocean, the river running out to the ocean with the little ones where my, my blows join up here. And then I can't get the white can't blow the extra white over and I always get that there so I don't really know what I can do about that not much I guess I'm just going to try and center it a little bit more and one more spin to get that little area off there nearly there I just put this little square on to cover up the base otherwise if I had to keep um, not put that there this the bottom bit would get all covered in paint and then I have to put my cake spinner back on and it would just get all dirty so I just use this little piece okay let's leave it at that I'm happy with that maybe a little bit more of that white off the very edge just there Yep, it's gone now. All right, let's lift him up so we can actually see what we've got. There we go. A little bit more black on this side, a little bit more Payne's grey and beige on that side. But yeah, he's, he's good. Um, the little ones I find are a little bit harder for me than the bigger ones. So, but I'm happy with that. Look at the tiny little beige 
cells popping up in the middle of the black there. <laughs> it's so pretty. Okay, let's pop him down here next to his mummy. He's a little bit paler than his mummy, but I think he's all right. Mm. I don't know. No, look, I'm, I'm going to go again. He's just too pale. I put him next to his mummy and that's just too pale there. I'm just going to scrape that paint off. I do like to scrape rather than leave all that extra paint on because there's a risk of it cracking if you leave too much paint on. The, um, the white cell activator can crack. All right, here and I, here was I thinking I was going to just do one and be, and be a good girl and just do one, but no. Okay, let's go again. Let me clean my gloves. I was making up a new batch of pouring medium just before and I was pouring it into my litre bottle and it kind of hit the side and this big wave of polycrylic came right at me, went all down my front, all down my pants, oh my gosh, and I thought, oh, I better get it in the wash real quick because, uh, you know, it's polycrylic, it's going to dry hard. So you almost had naked Julie painting. But pleasantly happy to say that I went and found some more scrubs. <laughs> so you didn't have to deal with that. Not that you could see me anyway, because you can only see my little arms. But it was a close one, I'm telling you. I'll put a little bit, extra bit of black on. That other one was quite light. Okay, and the silver. And just remember what I said about the third. Have a, it's a big puddle. You need to have a third there, a third there, a third there. All right. If I go this way and then that way, I don't know if it'll make any difference at all to me having that area that I don't like. Just wait for that white to come back in a little bit. Okay. I tried. Oh, look at that. I've got a big black blob in the middle. Oh, I don't like you. Where did you come from? And look, I don't have enough lacing on the edges either. So that's not a keeper. I already know that's not going to work because I don't have any lacing there. I don't have any lacing there. It's going to scrape that. So maybe I should have kept the first one, hey? I'm going to go for three now. Push that down. Never mind. It's only paint. And it's not a lot of paint doing the little ones like this. You don't use a lot. Oh, I'm not nearly out of the Payne's Grey. Nearly out of black. Give him a shake up. Okay, hopefully this will be the last one. Here. I don't need so much paint. Okay. I 
I've just stretched out that middle blob again. That's what happens when you you blow in your you blow your little cells. They grow into big cells. Let's see what happens there, hey? Hopefully that one will be all right. Ooh. It's darker this time, which is good. Need to get that little area off there. It's not wanting to move. Whoops. Is it gone yet? Oh, still a little bit there. A little tiny bit there. It's very dark. Um, hmm. Too much black. Too much black. All right, I'm going to go again. Sorry, guys. I'm going to go again. It's too much black. It's supposed to be Payne's grey and tan. I won't put so much black on. Okay, that last one. All right, this is going to have to be the last one. Let's hope so. Bit more white on this time hopefully that it will travel a little bit easier Ooh, what's that that's black all right shake shake haven't got much left i'm just going to put the black on once this will be it close him up um and then a little bit more of the panes Like so, tiny bit more of you, and then the silver. Okay, get back in the middle. It's a lot of paint there. Concentrating, concentrating, pushing that white out. Now this is the trouble I have, trying to get in there without disrupting anything. Alright, let's give that a minute for these ones to grow. That was pretty good, I'm happy with that. I didn't do too badly with that one. Hopefully this will be a keeper. Let's move you all down a little bit. Okay, right, hopefully this will work. <clears throat> oh, look at my big bubbles. Big bubbles, no troubles. So I've already got lacing right up here to the edges, but I need to cover these edges. So I'm just moving, seeing if I can get the weight of the paint to move down just a little bit. It's still very dark. I'm going to leave it like that though, because I, I do like the composition of that one. But um, yeah, it is, it is still very dark. Where's my paint is grey gone? <clears throat> um, like I like it, but 
paint's grey is just nowhere to be seen. I think I'll risk doing it one more time to try and get some more. All right, I'm going to have to, even though I love it. I need the paint's grey to be there. All right, last time. And then I've probably got no more paint left. Sorry, guys. Tiny, tiny little bit of black this time. Just a tiny little drop of black, like so. It's all you're getting, yes, because you're being naughty. Come back into the middle. We're going to have too much um, tan now. <laughs> okay, here we go. Couldn't get in there. It's not enough room. Let's give that a minute. Oh my gosh! Please be the last one. It's it's looking much lighter. Remember the very first one I did? It was too light. And now I'm probably going to go the same way. <laughs> it's all my paint's grey gone. All right, let's spin it. Need to get that bottom bit off. Mm, I don't know if I can get it off. Yeah, look at that. Might have to leave that little bit of silver there, hey? But you know me, I'm not going to because it's annoying me. This moving thing's annoying me. I don't know that I can actually get any more paint down there. So this one's more, you can actually see the more, more of the tan. Uh, paint's grey, still not a lot showing through. There's a little bit there. If I spin any more, I'm going to actually lose it. I might have to just leave it like that and have that little edge of, of silver showing. Unless I can get it to go down there. Actually, the more I'm spinning, the Payne's Grey is popping out from underneath this tan. The tan is an opaque colour. So it wants to sit on top. It doesn't want to let any other colour come through. As I'm spinning it, I'm kind of thinning it out, so I think more, more of the paint's grey is coming up from underneath. Right, I'm going to leave it like that. Okay, we're done. I think we're done. Yeah, at least you can see the tan, you can see the, the paint's grey, you can see the silver, you can see the black, see a little bit of everything. So yeah, good. It's better than the last one. <laughs> Still too much tan now, but hey, yeah. You look more like your mother than now than you did before because you were just too much of the dark colours in you. All right, let me take you down. Oh, that was a, for a little coaster, that was a lot of trouble, wasn't it? And here am I thinking I was going to do them nice and quick. So they match pretty well, don't they? Because there's a lot of the tan in the big one as well. 
so I think they match very nicely. Right, let's go down for a close-up. So just something a little bit different with these colours, you know, a little bit more natural, not too bright. And then over here to the little guy. So yeah, as I said, the paint's grey kind of got lost underneath that opaque tan or skin tone colour. But there they are. Alrighty, I'm going to do one more now and then I'm going to clean up. And um, I'll see you real soon. Hope you're still enjoying these. I will get back to flip cups real soon and do some swipes and some other things. But I need to finish my series. All right. Thanks for watching. Love you all. Bye for now.